Tada! Hello guys, welcome back to another exclusive episode on uh, biology. And of course, uh, today we are going to look at the remaining two cell organelles. I want to consider the vacuoles and the lysosomes. Okay, so I've been having a very interesting time discussing about all these what cell organelles. Okay, so today we round them up. Okay, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam application. If you have a phone, you should have that app. It's a CBT practice app, and your exam is a CBT practice exam. It's, sorry, it's a CBT exam. All right, so you need a good CBT practice app like the Old School Jam app to what to ace your what CBT what exam. All right, so I'm not going to talk about much about the app, but one thing you should know is that you should not be stingy to yourself. All right, because if you want to go and get past question now outside, one is one thousand five hundred naira with the current economic reality. Okay, so if you want to get four for your four subject, you must have spent six thousand naira. All right, but this okay with this. All right, you are going to what get all the past questions for all the subjects inside our application. You are going to what get wonderful features like the classroom feature that has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. You are going to have questions, sad feature we can search for questions according to topic and answer them. Also, you have the opportunity to participate in mock exam every Saturday. Okay, in that mock exam, you compete with your mates. Okay, that are writing jam for this particular year. Compete with your mates, you win prizes, you get used to how jam set their question, and so many, many more features. Everything in this app, everything just for 3,000 naira. All right, so please grab the application immediately and start preparing for exam today. Now, before we begin, let us quickly see a question pertaining to this. All right, they say vacuums are found. This is a 2022 question number four. They say vacuums are found, A, they say only in plant cell, B, both in plant and animal cell, C, only in animal cell, D, in body. Okay, so we're going to what talk about what the uh talk about this, let's talk about vacuums and lysosome, then we'll come back at the end of the class. We'll answer this question and many more from this application. All right, so please go to Play Store immediately, download the app and start practicing what today. All right. So uh the, what key students is that they have they, they think to themselves that they have time. Oh, I get time to prepare. You don't have any time, oh, please start preparing early. Okay, the best time to prepare for jam is like it's like three months from what from from what from the date of jam. So if 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 you are not within that time frame, you are lagging behind because the syllabus of jam is very very huge. So you have a lot to cover. You have a lot of ground to cover. Okay, and this is why we do this tutorial for you to help you to help you make it easier. Okay, but if you don't, if you know what make it easy for yourself, now nah, you sabi, oh, please study. To show yourself approved. All right. So now let's talk about what the vacuoles. Okay. The vacuoles are just basically what you call storage containers. Storage containers. Okay. They are basically what you call what storage what containers. Okay. So uh, they are what they are membrane. They are a membrane enclosed area. They are a membrane enclosed what area that store food. They store food. They store water. They store waste products. They store waste products and many other what things. Okay, so uh, like I said, that what that basically was storage containers. Okay, then um, because they are a membrane enclosed area, vacuums are a membrane enclosed area that stores food, that store water, that store waste products and what and many other. Okay, an example of this vacuum is the central vacuum that is found in plant cells. Okay, an example is what central vacuum, central vacuum, central vacuum that is what found in what in plant what cells. This vacuum stores mainly water. It stores mainly water and inorganic ions like potassium ion like potassium ion K plus and chlorine ion Cl what minus. Okay, so say a, a perfect example of what of a vacuum is the central vacuum that is found in what in plant cells. Okay, this vacuum mainly stores what water and stores what inorganic ions like what like potassium ion and the chlorine ion. Only plant cell has what a vacuum like what like this was central vacuum. Only only plant cells have what a vacuum like this what central what vacuum. But what you should know is that what that vacuum is found in both plant and animal cells. Okay, why it is more predominant in what in plant cells? It is sparsely found in what 
in, uh, in in animal cells. Okay, so the the, the vacuoles found in animal cells they are what sparsely scattered around the cytoplasm. Okay, they are sparsely what scattered around in the what in the, in the cytoplasm to what to store what uh, minerals and what and other what products. Okay, to store uh, different what substances. All right, they store what different substances. Okay, but it's very important that is what is more predominant in what in the plant what cell. Okay, so let's take note of that. Now and then we now have the lysosome. Okay, we'll come back to the notes. We'll come back to the notes. Okay, you know, as usual, we'll do it to come back to the notes. I just want to give you an overview, an understanding of what, what the vacuoles or whatever the topic it is that we are discussing. All right. So now the lysosomes. The lysosomes are what they are membrane, they are membrane-bound organelles. Okay, that, that contains what we call enzymes. They are membrane-bound organelles that contain enzymes to digest food molecules. Okay, they are what membrane-bound what uh, uh, cell organelles that contain what we call enzymes. Enzymes. Okay, to digest what molecule to digest molecules. Okay, so that is what, what lysosomes are basic, basically are. Okay, they are what membrane band what organelles that contains what enzymes to digest what molecules. Okay, say we have, for example, we have what a food molecule like this. All right, all right, a food molecule like this. All right, and then we now have, let's say, lysosome like this. All right, so what happens is that this food molecule and this lysosome they will fuse together. They will fuse together. And once they fuse together, the enzymes that are inherent in this lysosome, the enzymes that are present in this lysosome, will digest what these food molecules. Okay, so that is what happens what in the what in the lysosome. Also, lysosome they are also very useful in digesting non-functional organelles. Okay, they are useful in digesting non-functional organelles. For example, let's say we have a mitochondria that is not well performing its function. If you have a mitochondria that is not doing what it's supposed to do, okay, the lysosome what will digest it, okay? It will digest it because by not digesting what that mitochondria that is not performing its function, it will be wasting the cell's energy resources, okay? So we'll go back to the notes now, but before we go back to the notes, please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is not good. You are doing waiting no good. Please click on the like button immediately as you are watching this video. As you are doing it now, I beg, do it. Do it now, please. Click on that like button. That, that hands are just like this. Just click on it. Pull him that. Or it will not stop the video. It will not end the video. So just click on that like button. And also subscribe. Subscription is free to this channel. All right? It's just to notify you whenever we release a new video. All right? And of course, do not forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. Those of you that are saying that in your family, you don't used to share. You don't used to share things. Okay? Please stop it today. Share this video to your friends and family members that are all writing exams. Share it to your class group. Share. Just keep sharing. Let other people will be aware of this channel. All right? Then, of course... Uh, let's all go to the notes now. See the vacuoles and the lysosome. So I've well, talked about the vacuoles and say they are surrounded by all by a membrane that we call tonoplast. Okay, they are surrounded by as you see from a past question. Now some of you think we are playing. We are not playing here. All right, we are not playing here. All right. So they are surrounded by a membrane. The vacuole are surrounded by a membrane known as tonoplast. So stay to the end of the class when we start taking what questions, okay? You will see. So they are large in plant cells, and when they occur in animal cells, they are usually small, all right? So the vacuoles of plant cells usually contain solution known as what? Cell sap. The vacuoles of plant cells usually contain solution known as what? Cell sap, okay? They also help to maintain water balance in plants. They help to maintain water balance in what? In plants. Okay, so now lysosomes. You see, it's a membrane-bound cell organelle that contain digestive what enzymes. Contain digestive enzymes, like I've said before. Okay, they help to break down what excess or worn out cell parts. They help to what break down excess or worn out what cell parts. Now. We are done with what we did not. There's nothing to explain here because uh, I think I've done a great deal explaining uh, the vacuoles and the lysosome. I mean, you cannot tell, you know, fit tell me say you don't understand. You know, fit. All right? So please, I know you understand it perfectly well. If you do not understand, just take the video back again and digest it again. You'll see how marvelous, marvelously well we have what explained this. So let's go to the O3 Schools app application. Please go to Play Store immediately now. Now. Okay, go download the O3 School Jam app. It has been displayed on the screen right now with this logo. 
you see this three logo once you see it you know that it's our application okay so please download the application and start what practicing you do not have time any longer so uh this is a 2022 question number four 2022 question number four is a vacuums are found a only in plant cell b both in plant and animal cell c only in animal cell d in body okay we said vacuums are found in both plant and animal cell why they are very predominant in what in plant cells like the central vacuum okay they are sparsely uh found what in the animal cell that's sparsely scattered around the cytoplasm okay to what to store different what substances all right then of course we have what a 2023 question here Number four, a 2023 question here. Number four is being displayed on the screen right now. It says the membrane around the vacuole, the membrane around the vacuole is known as what? We talked about it here. We say it's the tono, 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 plus, tono, tono. So we say what? The membrane around the vacuole is what? A, tono, plus, B, elia, uh, elia, o plus, C, cito, plus, D, Aminoplast, and the correct answer there is what is tonoplast, tonoplast, no go choose with you know correct. Then, of course, this is a 2017 question number 22. 20, 2017 question number 22. It said, the food vacuole of a plant cell is A, a large empty space, B, smaller than that of an animal cell, all right? The C, filled with hair. D surrounded with a membrane. Okay, of course we said that word that the vacuum. Okay, is what is surrounded. What is a membrane enclosed area? They are surrounded by what by a membrane known as what tonoplast. They are a membrane enclosed what area? That will make our correct answer there to be what option what option D. All right. So thank you very much for watching. All right. And uh, in the next episode, we'll talk about differences between animal cells and plant cells. All right. We're supposed to draw the structure of animal cells for you to see what we have seen in the previous episode where we drew what the structure of a plant cell. Okay. Uh, but please, just look that up by yourself. Look that up by yourself. So I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Olabitango, aka Master T, your favorite biology teacher. See you in the next episode.